Hi, this is David with entry number 286 coming at you here, maybe 87, coming at you here in Kangnam at uh, on Monday at about 5.45. Um, in the evening, had a good day, did a Father's Day lesson with the kids, and it went over very well. I was going to buy myself a sobing for a treat, but I might get it tomorrow instead because it's going to be cooler and it won't melt as I'm carrying it. So hopefully I'll get myself one tomorrow. Anyway, um, like I said, it was a good day, good day at school. I had a lot of good opportunities to teach the kids. They actually were quiet and respectful and not crazy, so that was good. Um, other than that, you know, nothing much else to report. Right now, um, the Game of Thrones finale is aired in the U.S., and I'm about to watch it here. I'm very excited that this season was very good. I'm not sure if it was as good as the first two, but it was better than the third sure but uh, very good show if you haven't watched Game of Thrones before I'd highly highly recommend it um, very good I don't have any plans this weekend so far I was gonna go into Seoul but I don't know if I will because I asked a few of my friends and they all are going in so I might just hang low once again for a month straight here in Kanye um, but yeah that's about it I will talk for a minute or two or three or four about Father's Day and the importance of fathers. Um, I'm going to be talking in like big F father, meaning all fathers, not just my father. Um, some things are applicable to all but not mine. Some are applicable to mine but not all. You know this. You know this. Um, Fathers are very important, and maybe I'll go beyond just fathers. Having two figures in a child's life is very important. And I'm saying these things knowing full well that there are exemptions, and of course there are other things that come into play. But if you just were to take a blank mold of a child, I would always prefer to present that child with a father and a mother, okay? Now that could be a father figure and a mother figure, or a father role, or a mother role, but I think the two are very important. Um, the sex is some important as well, you know, like if it's a man or a woman. I think man and woman is the most ideal, to be honest. I'm not saying if you're in a homosexual relationship where you have a homosexual parents, thing going on, they can't raise a good kid, or they aren't just as good as a man and a woman raising their kid, they're sometimes better in many cases, but if you were to give them me a blank slate and say, do you want two men raising this kid, or a man and a woman raising this kid, knowing nothing else but the sex of the parents, I would say man and a woman. Because, you know, having a good example of someone who has the shape of a woman is a good thing. And some, having someone set an example who has the shape of a man is also a good thing. You know, humans don't imprint, but we do to some extent habituate or at least um, amplify, or no, maybe not amplify, we extrapolate a lot from just appearances, obviously. So seeing a man play a man's role and seeing a woman play a woman's role I think is important in growing a human into an adult. But let's go back to fathers. I think fathers are tremendously important for sons especially because they're who the son should reflect, uh, who the son should use as the model, as the standard, as the as the person who they should strive to be. And a lot of people say examples like, in my father was my age, he's done XX, you know, whatever. He's done this, this, and that. And I guess that argument is very true to some extent. Like, if you're Donald Trump's kid, good luck. 
or if you're Bill Gates kid, good luck. Or if you're, you know, any hugely successful person's kid, good luck. And I, I, to some extent, I, w I did do that for a while, you know, judge myself against my father. But really, that's not what you should be doing because, you know, you should have that in your mind, maybe, as a goal to strive towards, but I really don't think a father cares where, how the kid gets to point B, as long as they get to point B. I don't think that there are certain set points that need to be hit in order to achieve your goals. There are some that are helpful, there are some that are sometimes even necessary, maybe, like getting a doctor or a medical degree, but, you know, generally, if you want to be something, do what you think is the best way to get there. You know, keep in mind that just because you think, you know, pedaling a bike around the world is the fastest way to get around the world, if you want to set the land speed record, know that just because you think it's that way doesn't mean it's really that way at all because it's not. You just, you know, take a car and a boat. But um, having a father is important. And luckily I've had a very good experience with my father. A lot of people also point to having only good experiences. Father should be someone that you only see good in. But I don't think that's very true either because the father like my father, and like many baby boomer fathers, did a lot to change what their fathers did because they saw things they didn't like and they rectified them, or at least attempted to rectify those dislikes in their children. And to some extent, you know, this is another topic, but to some extent that was successful, but to a larger extent, I think it was very successful. Um, so, you should always keep in mind that just because your father is your role model, don't just emulate things that you like. You can also change things you don't like in your role model, okay? So, that's a huge thing, you know. Just saying it and actually acting on it is a big thing. But, um, just know that I'm very appreciative of my father. I think fathers are very important figures in children's lives, especially men's. And having a stable father is very, very, very important. Um, so, you can go do the research yourself, but I'll just mention that if you look in the African American community, you can find a lot of research on absentee fathers and the effects of that in a child's life. I'm not saying it's the law, I'm not saying it's how it should be, I'm just saying there's a lot of evidence supporting fathers staying in children's lives. So. I'll end it there. Thanks for watching. It's bloody hot here. It's almost 90 degrees with like 60 or 70 percent humidity. I'll talk with you tomorrow. This has been entry number 287, possibly 86, and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye.